Hi, I'm Joshua Robbie, and this is an overview of how advances in tagging technology allow researchers to learn about fish migration and survival. Our focus was on continuous monitoring stations at fixed sites. Examples include receivers for detecting fish with transmitters and antennas for detecting fish with PIT or passive integrated transponder tags. We developed a spatial capture recapture model that estimates both survival and location of tagged individuals from data collected along a linear array of continuous monitoring stations, in our case, migratory fish in a river. Our model builds on the basic framework of Jolly Sieber open spatial capture recapture models developed for two-dimensional terrestrial detector arrays, such as hair snares or camera traps. However, we made two significant changes. First, we used a Cormac Jolly Sieber formulation, and because the river constrained movement to a linear manner, continuous monitoring stations were treated in one dimension instead of two dimensions. Second, we modeled an individual's location, or activity center, as a function of the previous estimated location of the tagged fish. In other words, we correlated movement between periods. We demonstrated the model using 2010 data for anadromous American shad in the North Carolina River and examined their within-river spawning survival, migratory patterns, and habitat use following complete and partial dam removals. We captured and pit-tagged individuals at a weir near the river mouth and released them upstream of the weir. We passively monitored tag fish with an upstream array of pit antennas. Individual activity centers depended on detections at the weir and antennas, the previous estimated location, and river conditions. We used gauge height as a covariate. By correlating movement, we were able to estimate an individual's location even when it was not observed in a period, although with higher uncertainty. Model results can also be examined at the population level. American shad used habitat restored by complete and partial dam removals and migrated more extensively during high flows. Model results indicated high spawning mortality as the mean weekly survival probability was 0.8. Mortality was likely due to migratory and spawning stresses along with predation. Our model is applicable for any linear array, ranging from rivers to terrestrial corridors, opening new opportunities to study demographic parameters, movement or migration, and habitat use. 